folks. I think my duck farm just went bankrupt. It went bankrupt before it even got started. Now, if you didn't watch my previous video, this is my homemade uh, egg incubator. And basically, let me take the lid off here. You can see my, my duck eggs down in there. Oh my god, it smells bad. Oh, I got it unplugged now. Oh, shit. It smells horrible in there. Now, this is my thermostat right here. <coughs> oh, shit. Well, basically, you got to keep them duck eggs right at 100 degrees Fahrenheit. And so, I had this light source at night. I turn it on. It would hold right at 100 degrees. And then when the sun comes up, you turn this thing off, and it would hold right at 100 degrees. Now, I've had this thing off this morning because I've already pretty much admitted defeat. But, uh, you know, for an incubator to work properly, you have to have a thermostat. But I thought it was close enough. Had the flow down, stayed at 100 degrees most of the time. A little bit of fluctuation. But the eggs did not make it. They didn't make it. So, got to admit defeat, you know. Sometimes you got the thrill of victory, and sometimes you experience you experience the agony of defeat. Sometimes you fail at things in life. You know, I was dreaming about this duck farm. I took a swing at it. Went ahead and built this uh, homemade incubator. I mean, the total investment I had, I mean, I had everything, I had all the parts. But if you had to buy them, I mean, 15 bucks. 15 bucks and then uh, the six eggs. I don't know, just round it up, say another five bucks on the on the fertilized duck eggs. I'm on 20 bucks. Thousand pesos. I mean really if you wanna since I already had the stuff, I am out of 250 peso investment, which is five US dollars. I invested five US dollars into my duck farm with uh you know, huge, I don't want to say expectations, but I mean, I thought this was my, my way into the duck farming business. I would start here small on the balcony, the penthouse suite with, with uh, six, six ducklings. They would hatch over here in the incubator. And then they'd have uh, their little pond here to swim around in. You know, plenty of room to run around. Uh, Force G could could play with the little ducklings and assist in getting them raised up. But things just didn't work out. What an appropriate day to admit defeat on the on the uh, initial attempt at becoming a duck farmer here in the Philippines. Now. Maybe I'm just not working with the right equipment. And this goes back to something my old man said years ago. Well, he still says it. You either gotta get in business or get the hell out of business. There ain't no in between. If you are anywhere in between, you're not gonna succeed because you're not committed. And that seems to be what happened with my, my duck farm here, you know. Put together this homemade redneck incubator that don't even have a thermostat. So obviously at some point the temperature either fluctuated too high or too low. And the little ducklings didn't make it. When I could have easily invested in a thermostat for probably another, what, five, ten bucks. Say another 500 pesos. Um, do I have the appropriate location for a duck farm? 
Well, I mean, yes and no. Uh, you know, this beautiful balcony and the cooking show up here uh, probably doesn't need ducks running around, crapping everywhere. But, you know, I just figured that to get it started, I had the appropriate equipment and location. And, but that goes back to what my old man said, either, either get in business or get out of business. There ain't no in between. So what do I do from here? This, uh, this agony of defeat on becoming a duck farmer here in the Philippines, starting my duck farm. What do I do? I go back to the drawing board, go out to the hardware store, pick up a thermostat, wire in an appropriate thermostat to make sure that the temperature stays accurately where it needs to be. Maybe another $10 investment. I can correct that problem. Get another six eggs and put them in there. And wait another 28 days. It takes about 28 days to incubate or hatch a, a duck egg. Chickens hatch at about 21, 21 days. And maybe instead of starting out with ducks, I start out with chickens because it's a uh, like a week less on the time so it, it allows me to work out how the incubator works and the humidity and the temperature and all that stuff so that's what i'm thinking about today folks on a rainy day here in the philippines just a quick update on the on the incubator and the duck farm it has the initial attempt has resulted in failure question is now what am i going to do about it now look if i had five hectares of land, five rye, five acres. If I had some land, it'd be a different story, all right? There'd be, <laughs> there'd be no excuse, right? You could get it going. Um, maybe get a couple piglets up here. Nah, it'd be too noisy. <laughs> all right, folks. If you're not a subscriber on my channel, bottom right hand corner of your screen, right down there, hit that overstay road sign. Subscribe and hit the notification bell, and I'd certainly appreciate it. We just hit 26,600 subscribers. Wow. Thank you very much for everybody who took the time to subscribe and watch our videos. Man, I was hoping these eggs hatched, and I had these ducks swimming around here. All right, folks, back to the drawing board. Hope you're having a great day wherever you're at in the world. Thanks for joining me on this quick update on the, the failure of the duck farm. Baby, Forrest G, I got some bad news. The duck farm has failed. I told you, Forrest. What do you mean you told me? Force G. Bad news, Force G. I told you. What did you tell me? You were not a doctor's bed. You smell bad. Yeah, but I thought it was just one. What do you think we should do, baby? The duck farm went bankrupt. Should we try again? Baby, you, you understand I'm in an emotional state right now because of the failure of this duck farm. Oh, I told you from the start, that's not work. Uh, that's not mean that I need to pay. Uh, I don't want to touch you. I'm just telling you the truth. That's not work. <laughs> okay, well, I'm telling you, your, 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 your boobies are hanging out and I'm making a YouTube video. Oh, 
maybe I had, I had so many I had so many obstacles. I mean, you kept trying to eat the duck because it was balut. You were trying to eat the balut. I had that stress. I had to watch you. Trying to, I mean, I'm trying to start a duck farm and you're trying to eat the, the balut. What do you mean, poor duck? If I hadn't put him in the incubator, you would have ate him. They'd have been dead anyhow. Okay. I'm thinking about starting over with some chickens. All right, baby. Folks, oh. thanks for joining us. Poor duck. <laughs> she keeps saying poor duck, and she eats below it anytime she can chomp her teeth down into a baby duck. Yeah, if you let me eat that, does not waste. No, I cannot eat because it's dead. It's very, very long. You can, baby, you can eat it now if you want. You're free to, you're free. You can go eat that below Uh, maybe I'll buy you some balut tonight. <laughs> My cat. Folks, you see what I'm dealing with on a daily basis? I'm getting stressed out by these Filipinas. I'm going to take them out. I'm going to bury them out by the mountain. Okay, baby. All right. Folks, thanks for joining us. We'll see you on the next one.